hi greetings beautiful so welcome into the channel this is a message of love for zodiac sign cancer and of course if the messages resonates with you do leave a like and let me know thanks so much for all of your support on the channel is abundantly appreciated so let us dive right into this love reading angels spirits guides beautiful ancestors okay so first of all there's someone from your past that is wanting to come show up show themselves show up to you right um i feel like this person they're watching you and they they love you um they have something to say and they miss you too right so uh this could be an ex or just someone that has you've spoken to before and this person they keep looking at you um with like eyes full of fire like star energy like you are a star um so it's like they're 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 very attracted to you and mesmerized or someone is like just really really into you super into you like super star um you may have like beautiful qualities however like i feel like this person they're holding back the feelings or they're not saying it or they're just like standing from a distance and uh admiring you or watching you or taking you in like stargazing you could be popular or this could be someone popular um someone with some some celebrity status here in some way shape or form so i'm getting a strong masculine energy so you could be a strong masculine energy uh, or you know it's a strong masculine energy that is giving you this attention i'm also seeing like a negative energy i forgot the word just now um like someone that would be toxic or karmic that like a culprit or something so this could be a lot of people interested in you i'm also seeing if like if you're a masculine energy there are some men that are jealous of you like they are jealous and bad men and evil eye of you i can see that for feminine energies this would be the females too and i'm getting a lot of masculines are attracted to you a lot of them are into you right now so you may be super attractive super hot which this pairing with the star card blazing hot and feel there's something about feeling and the blazing hot and maybe the feeling that you give to people you're like fresh air but it's like a new flame is the energy it's like air but it's like you're a new vibe a new flame um a new feeling a new sense of attraction and well-being is what i'm getting off of you so you're very attractive and you turn heads right now like you may turn heads in the streets there are people that are really talking about you and asking about you and it seems to trigger one particular masculine that is also into you but they don't like the fact that there are other masculine or feminine that there are other people interested in you and asking about you and wanting to get to know you so i'm getting a masculine energy or feminine that is upset that you're getting so much attention and they seem to be at a distance from you because this person they feel possessive right they feel like um you should be theirs they feel like possessive over you like you are the one that this person want but they're not really going out there and competing for you or putting out the effort or anything like that but they still don't like that other people give you attention and want you because they want you. You know what I'm saying? So they, they're they upset with these other masculines and they're just like upset with the whole situation. Yes, beautiful soul. There are a lot of eyes on you. King of Swords energy with the star card. A lot of eyes on your relationships as well. So we have the four of wands ending up on the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling a solid relationship. A, a relationship with love, attraction, harmony and peace and well-being. A relationship with your yourself a relationship with the state you're in a relationship with the person here two twos this is the two flames here there's someone that you're you're about to be with or you are with now you are both really attracted to one another you can't like you can hardly be separated right so this is a divine kind of a divine union i'm also seeing marriage here wedding bells and stuff like that so let's see i'm seeing if you are single though someone is wanting to come in and like make an offering for a relationship with you well we have the king of wands ending up on the bottom of the deck so with the passion card with the king of wands this could be someone that's just very passionate about you i'm getting an ex too i'm getting police energy this person is really 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 into you right they're they're controlling or possessive over you look at how his fist is folded right here just this person is mad and i feel like they're mad that there are other people into you other people wanting to be with you and they are not because this person is not with you currently Yes, there was a separation between two. 
I'm something about father. This person, they see you giving like your attention to other people. Like you may be reading for people if you're a tarot reader or doing things like to serve other people or to cater to other people. And they're upset about that. They're really upset about that. Triggered. Yeah, this person is triggered that they cannot have you for themselves. Even though I don't really see this person as being the committed type here. They, this like they want all that they can have. They want their cake and eat it too. And I'm telling you, you're one of their biggest cakes. You're one of their biggest desires here. Justice, yeah, they've been separated from you. Um, something about Karmic or Carmichael. So we have the Justice card on the table. This is like further confirming a, a police energy here. And it is talking about what is what is right from what is wrong. So... You ha are getting good justice, you because maybe you separated from this person, and this person is feeling like they're not, they're losing, or they feel a bit of a loss that they they're not with you. They just feel upset. They just and if this is a good person, they're just really like triggered and up in their feelings a lot that they're not with you, or that other people are getting attention from you, or giving you attention. With the judgment card coming out, with the justice card. Something legal is going on here. This could be universal laws or man-made laws that are being triggered. I'm hearing box site or something starting with B here. All right, someone is in. Someone is in. Someone is um getting involved in something that is quite sort of trespassing. So I'm not sure if someone trespassed on you in some way, shape, or form here. This could be a bigger man or woman for you. Um, but somehow they're dealing with karma. This person is inflamed. Someone could also be itching in some way here. Wow. So we have passerby. Something about something may happen at noon. Cause all right, so maybe this is someone that was passing by. This person was judging you or criticizing you, or they couldn't. They, like they would have wanted to judge you, criticize you, but they couldn't say anything. This person would have ended up judging themselves. Like that's how it is. I don't know. You have this strong energy. That um, someone can't judge you. Not because like they can't have you. So they're just learning to keep them their feelings to themselves right now. Nine of Wands is next. I'm telling you, like you have a lot of like people, sorry, around you that are into you, that are attracted to you, that may be judging you, and you have a beautiful body. Also, um, pay attention to your outlook of yourself, how you feel about yourself, because you are very mesmerizing. Tons, I hear tons of people are into you. This King of Wands energy is embodying multiple people at once or just one, like one major person. But um, with the Nine of Wands, it's a confirmation that is a lot of people that are attracted to you. You're appealing. You're giving off like this fire flame energy. It could be your skin tone. It could be... Just your energy, your aura, your attitude, vibration here. So it makes me feel like you're out of someone's reach too. You're just so high. It's like imagine you're a fire, but the, the, the flames and the heat off of you, it makes you like levitate is the vibration. Like you may be levitating or flying today because I feel like you're just so high out of these people's reach. It's like you're literally in the sky. I guess this is how stars get in the sky because they're so hot. They become gassy, gas in some way and they begin to float up so i feel like that's the energy i'm getting you're floating up you're high like people this these people are looking up on you like you're levitating but you're walking you know what i'm saying but it's just like you're just a vibe you're just a vibe i don't know how else to describe it the star card you see I'm not playing pictures with money. And this, these people, they cannot stop admiring you, watching you, giving you attention, talking about you, wanting to be with you, competing for you. Like some people are in a race for you. Do you know that? Like if someone just found out that you are single, there are people out here that are competing for you. People that are like fussing about you. Like look, cheering. This message, this card says cheering, encouraging. This is people competing for you. And these people that are competing for you, they know one another, but you may not know that this is what is going on. So this could be like some type of a bet or something here. Feelings. There are people that have strong, strong feelings for you all here. So if you're online, you could even... I see something about you being in bed also, like you're sleeping. So there's a lot going on. You're a star. You're a star. I'm telling you, it's like you're floating above. You're mesmerizing. You're, t you're flames. You're hot. You're beautiful. So, oh my gosh, insecurity flew out because I was just about to touch on the judgment card. Say, if you feel like people are judging you for who you are, do not. 
feel bad about yourself with it because the judgment card is the most high energy this is like you being approved by most high vibration with the star card judgment card this is like you getting approval so you don't have to be insecure about the energy you're letting off just glory in it gloat in it we had the joy card on the bottom of the deck Sometimes people see your energy, how you're glowing. So it could be that glow that makes you seem like you're levitating. I'm telling you, you're so beautiful is the energy inside out, like your entire vibe, right? So some people are wondering what it is about you, but you have some type of a star quality. It's not just about the, the physical. It's about your entire embodiment of a human being or of life itself, like like you have light in you and you it glows from within you so you may be really happy so there are people that are looking at you watching you see and they're trying to understand understand what it is about you they know there's something quality about you but they don't know what the quality is but they know that your quality is the energy um, I'm also feeling like someone cannot defame you here with the trickery card and the star card and the king of wands here like someone would have wanted to see if they could have defame you in some way my battery is dying now the light is down defame you take your credit or take credit for your success or your aspiration but this person they cannot take any credit this could be a parent as well with this card I feel like you're also wise, like very smart, intelligent. So you're a whole package adding to the, your quality. So people see you and you have a beautiful body. You may be a freelancer or like you're a freelancer in spirit. And you don't let anything hold you back or hold you down. And you look happy and you look glowing. And when you do a background check on you, you're also smart. You could work with the like internal affairs and all of these things. That's how smart you are. Intelligent is the vibration. And I'm getting like people cannot put two and two together about you. So some people are just into you. Just They're, they're wondering who you are for real like you may just stay really secluded and you don't give a lot of information about you but when people see you they want it's joy you bring light and life to people's energy right and people can't really figure it out or explain it people think that you're probably not from here you could be tourist energy you could be a traveler you could be new and as i said that someone could be thinking of traveling to be closer to you right um, I'm also seeing like someone wanted to take your stripes, beautiful soul. So be mindful of that. I was just touching on that energy here. All right. So, yeah, you have a lot of people mesmerized about in um, into you. And there are other people that are competing with you are in their feelings um, about the attention that you're getting. So let's see if we can see why that is happening. Perseverance. I feel like because they feel like they try hard, try so hard and they cannot really be like you. But I feel like you are on fire. You and I'm getting the song. I'm a grown woman and I can do whatever I want is the vibration grief card here. So some people are like literally open their feelings about who you are, how you choose to live, how you walk, how you talk, how you choose to be, because I think you don't want to fit yourself into a box, beautiful soul. You just want to be free. You want to be who you are. And someone is upset that they couldn't contain you by the way they talk to you, by how they um whatever like they come around and they talk to you or the way they look at you badly so that you would small yourself up someone is seeing that you are just you're out of their league your energies uh, like your energy has surpassed them like your glow has grow beyond everything so it's like they feel like no so you may be like online is the energy sharing to a larger audience or even like to a greater community in some way so someone is feeling like they, it's going to be harder to contain you because you've spread so far. You've spread your light so far now. And so it makes them upset because they can't rope you in again here. I feel like this is also a person from your past that did not treat you right. Right now they, now they wish with the star card. They are wishing that they had the chance to come in and treat you right because they see that things are slowly but surely fading away and dissipating. Um, I'm feeling like this person, they're missing you so much and they feel like you, they've lost you with the star card, right? Um, something about invigoration. They wish that they could get you back. Like this person, they wish that they had the power, the energy, the resources to like re-energize and get you back in their life. I hear pompous. They may think that of you. 
but this person is feeling like mm, like they don't have what it takes but be mindful that this person could be a resourceful person that may be out there trying to figure out a way how to get that energy to come back towards you with the abundance and soulmate card someone is feeling like they cannot ha lose you you are their everything right they will fight for you this is the vibration here right going back to the e energy of someone competing mm -hmm. yeah four of the four of swords is next someone is like they constantly think about you they don't know how to feel about you right now they feel like they've lost control they feel like you're always on their mind this song baby what like when they think about you late nights when they're in their room that's one they're always there's nothing that this person can do to stop you from showing up or popping up in their mind is the energy like everything if they touch if they touch so if they touch something it reminds them of you it's like you're in their energy but you're not there um so it's like this person is being taunted or haunted with their thoughts and this could be you thinking of someone else too i feel like this person they're beautiful they're saying beautiful that they do not know they feel bad for losing you they're saying they don't know how they really manage to mess up and lose you so this is someone that you've been around before there's a third party energy too that's been whispering to this person and telling them like um like they don't need you they can do better without you whatever something to that effect right and so they have regrets now that they, they ha they're wondering why they were listening to that person what's going on yeah so you are over here healing and feeling good with the star card is healing taking your power back um drinking water staying hydrated getting sunlight and just taking care of yourself and this person is over here wishing that they could heal you or wishing that they could heal with you or wishing that they could be a part of your life wishing that they could um, provide for you or pour into you because i feel like this person is like they want to give to you they want, they want to be able to be there for you, but they can't. So they may have some type of a resource that they want to give to you. Or this is just their feelings. Or they're, they want to take it all the way with you. So we have um, a page of cups here. Someone is dream. Oh my gosh. Someone is dreaming about you. Someone keeps dreaming about you. Insight and reveal. Someone keeps dreaming about you like all the time. They dream about you. Like I was just saying with that song, late, like late night, late night when I think about you. Reveal and insight. That is the truth. Someone is dreaming. They go to sleep and they're dreaming about you. Right? And it's like they're wondering why. What's going on? Guess which card is next? Twin Flame. This card is mixed. I'm, think, I'm thinking that someone is having a realization that you are true love. With this page of cups and this true love card here, someone is realizing this is a deep star energy. And the, and the soulmate card over here, someone is realizing. I'm also getting someone is seeing that you are a dream come true. So this, I guess this could be the new eyes of a person or just someone that is seeing that you are a revelation in yourself of a, a beautiful earth angel a fairy a mystic that's what i was saying they don't they just think you're from somewhere else someone can't place you but they're now realizing oh this person is a dream come true they're realizing you're a beautiful soul someone is missing you they feel like they have messed up look i love you this person they wish they could be able to get those words out and say them to you but there's some type of a block. They can't express how they feel to you. But this is really true love with the page of cups here. Oh my. This person, they're going to try to reveal their feelings to you today. Reveal. And this is like a confirmation of them uh, making some move, wanting to shift their thoughts, their intentions, the way they speak with you. Uh, maybe showing up to you today too. With the message, I love you. With the page of cups energy and this card here, the lovers, it's like definitely someone saying... I love you. Here, you see how much time I said it? Mysticism. But this could be someone secretly watching you, secretly. They don't want to show their identity for some reason. Acceptance. For some reason. And your last card, oh my gosh, is the Ace of Wands. This is another confirmation of how this person is feeling. I'm also feeling like someone is feeling like they cannot have you. You're a daydream, or this person is daydreaming about you. You're someone that is feeling like they cannot have you. They feel like little or small or not enough, or that's what they're telling themselves. Release. Um, but this person, I don't know, someone could release something here to talk the truth. 
release again or some like someone is not talking the truth someone is not saying how they're feeling so they backed up feelings inside of them joy someone is looking at you feeling like you're giving off a lot of energies of joy prosperity and fulfillment they want to be a part of your life your glowing destiny there's someone that is like uh like trying to foresee what your future will look like and they're missing you they're saying to themselves whoa i wish i was a part of that miracle like this person is seeing that you're a true blessing or once in a lifetime opportunity or something like you've come and you've gone passion all right um that's it for your love messages for today something miraculous with the star card and the miracle card is about to happen you're about to have some type of a breakthrough in love with the four of wands on the bottom of the deck there's someone for sure moving toward you, your hometown, your place of work with this energy, this Ace of Wands. So let me see if I can clarify what, clarify what it is. What is the Ace of Wands? I hear projection and protection. The Two of Wands. Wow. Past energy. For some of you, this is a past energy. And for some of you, like an ex. And for some, it's a person that is saying, I am not like your past energy. I am going to show you who I am. Right, I'm gonna like someone wants to show up for you and be that person in your life. This person, yeah, the death card. This I could talk on and on. But this is what this person is feeling about you. They, they, they even try to like send you telepathic messages. They wonder if you can, if you're dreaming about them too. That's another song or something like that. So we're just gonna cut this message short um, and leave it right there. Beautiful soul. Thanks for tuning in. And I really do hope these messages have been able to serve you in some way, help you on your journey. They're entertainment, but I feel like you could take messages that may be able to inspire you on your journey. Thanks for liking and sharing, subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, all is well and all is within you, beautiful soul. Keep being your beautiful self. There's some good things coming up for you here in love, right? That's your manifesting.